What's up guys, I'm Fowler, welcome to my workshop. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the analog output on the knock detective to determine whether your engine was knocking in a data log. I have my knock detective hooked up and powered. It's running its zero to five volt output into the oscilloscope, which is gonna be the same as you running it into your ECU for data logging. And I'm gonna play back some knock recordings that I made while tuning my Evo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've set the sensitivity around 25, 30%. I'm gonna play back a recording of a pole right to red line with no knock. Here we go. So I've stopped the data log and the output of this is representing the amplitude of the higher frequencies in the knock signal, specifically above around 6,000 Hertz. As you can see, the RPMs grow and the amplitude grows, but it grows in a very predictable and smooth fashion. Let me show you what knock looks like on the data log and on the LEDs. So if I stop the data log, you can see these sharp jumps in voltage. It goes from a base amplitude around here and it jumps up and you can see these spikes. In fact, if I zoom in, this is what knock looks like on your data log. It goes from an amplitude straight up to a higher amplitude and you get this, this shape. That's what you're looking for in your data logs. If it's knocking, it's gonna look like that. If it's not, it's gonna be a smooth growth that correlates to RPM. Now the knock detective isn't as sophisticated as other devices out there that take an RPM input or a cam angle input. Those are great devices and those are great features, but it adds complexity and it adds cost. What I wanted to do was create something that is affordable and easy to use. You provide this with 12 volts, you give it a sensor input from the knock sensor that comes with it, and you've got everything you need to listen with your ears primarily, but validate with your data log to see exactly where in your map you are knocking. I hope that helps.